The Energy Frontier Research Centers focus on the most important problems facing energy today. Can we put the best minds behind a you know, worthwhile goal and, and solve the problem? Uh, the present batteries are limited. At a university, it seems to me our job is to see if we can find a different strategy. I'm working on synthesizing polymers that can be used in organic photovoltaics. After making the polymers, we decided to run some preliminary experiments. The results were inconclusive. One of the big goals of the EFRC is to combine all of our expertise. We'll collaborate with an engineer or a physicist or an experimental physical chemist. They're using some of the tools that they have developed in their labs to evaluate materials made in my labs. I'm working with amorphous silicon for lithium ion batteries. If I could increase cycle life, and that means that I can get more time on my iPad. So here's your, here's your edited paper. Oh, awesome. Yeah, well, it's not so awesome. I need to work on it. Oh, so hang on, hang on, I'm sorry. Sure yeah, I, I just sent it to you. I, you didn't get it? If I can really increase these capacities, then I could make it through two three-day conferences on one charge. As experimentalists, you can get some really good data, but oftentimes you need some type of model simulation or theory to be developed to help you understand that. One great thing we have at the University of Texas is the Texas Advanced Computing Center. And these jobs may run for uh, typically several days. Our calculations on charge transfer provide much better insights. These calculations take a lot of processing power and many days for results. A lot of processing power and many days. We're always waiting for these things. We're constantly running jobs. The point here is really to try to get at the basic understanding of charge transfer. We're trying to really understand on the most fundamental level how those processes operate. Why do I go to the EFRC meetings? The free food. Uh, I mean the synergy and collaboration at the frontier of energy research. We want to do something that will be really useful for the society if we succeed in it. For me, that's the interesting part of it. It's been so nice to be part of something, I don't know, greater than myself and important. The EFRCs are designed to create fundamentally new science, transformative science, big picture stuff. What's going to be the science of the next generation? That's what we're working on right now.